We only have a few days until the unveiling of the Brockdale Community Garden Project. Larry, you're supposed to be helping. I am helping. If I was over there doing actual garden stuff, I would have totally messed something up by now. Thanks, Larry. You're a real lifesaver. I knew putting Luke in charge was a smart move. He's dedicated, hardworking, and driven to succeed. He actually reminds me of me. Except for the fact that he's, you know, nice. A cartoon. Well, he has always been the good son. You do know I'm sitting right here. Am I wrong? No, you're not. Morgan, you're way behind everyone else. Not for long. I've developed a plant food formula that promotes aggressive cell growth. A few daily doses, and my garden will be teeming with lush, exotic plant life. Warm milk on a hot day. I can't think of anything more refreshing. <laughs> That's not milk! Unusual slimy texture, slightly bitter aftertaste, strange burning sensation. I like it. <laughs> Should I be worried right now? The ingredients are technically safe for human consumption, so you'll probably survive. Good enough for me. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Luke. Whatever. Why are you hassling me? Ugh, you're all so lame. I'm going to school. What's his problem? Bad attitude, awkward growth spurt, voice dropping an octave. I think we all know what Luke is suffering from. Scurvy. <laughs> Puberty. My sweet little baby is changing. Soon he'll be no better than Larry. Again, sitting right here. Luke drank some of Morgan's plant growth serum. I think it's having negative side effects. But that's why he's acting like a jerk? Do you know what this means? We should keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't get any worse. No, it means that for the first time in my life, I have a shot at being the good son instead of Luke. <laughs> I'm off to school. Thanks for making my lunch, Mom. I'm sure it's delicious. Oh, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Wait! Luke forgot to take his lunch. Can you bring it to him? Whoa, Mom! I'm aiming for good son, not great son. <laughs> hey, Darnell. Have you seen Luke? I've got to get to my cartooning class at the Brock and he forgot his lunch. I haven't seen him, but maybe I can help you. Help you eat that lunch. Thanks, but you better get to class. Will do, Mr. Stanley. Another new substitute teacher. I need to pay more attention when I hire people. <laughs> Mr. Stanley, I'm Principal Weber. I'm guessing you're an art teacher? That's what it says on my coffee mug. Although I did make it myself, and I spelt teacher wrong. <laughs> A teacher with a sense of humor. You know, sadly, that's new for us. <laughs> hey, why don't I give you a tour? Actually, I should be getting to class. Although my students do tend to learn more when I'm not there. I'm saying I'm a terrible teacher. <laughs> Aren't they all? <laughs> you really are a breath of fresh air. I have a feeling you're gonna be sticking around here for a while. <laughs> well, I did bring a lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you're a funny guy. <laughs> serum did have an effect on Luke. But don't worry, it should wear off within 24 hours. That soon? <laughs> I, I mean, that long? <laughs> I always get the words long and soon mixed up. Just one of my many hilarious quirks. <laughs> Regardless, Luke should be back to his sweet-natured, lovable self very soon. Do you have any more of that jerk potion handy? <laughs> it's rapid plant growth serum, not jerk potion. <laughs> And the formula is top secret. It's right here in my backpack where no one can get to it but me. Perfect. Hey, look at that. Zoinks. Why did you just say zoinks? I always say zoinks right before I leave. Just another one of my many hilarious quirks. <laughs> now, you might think it sounds lame, but I'm telling you. The pie chart is the single most important tool you will ever need. Cool. Uh, can you teach us how to make one? Well, sure. I have a pie chart right here. Mr. Stanley, you didn't tell me you taught classes other than art. Our trigonometry teacher just went home sick. Perhaps you could fill in for her. Trigonometry? What is that? <laughs> the study of long, made-up nonsense words? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious.
is. You're like the brother I never had. And so much better than the brother I do have. Where was I? Oh, right, my pie chart. <laughs> now, with this chart at your fingertips, you will never order a bad piece of pie again. <laughs> I'm looking at you, strawberry rhubarb. <laughs> Almost there. Just one final ingredient to go. One teaspoon of sodium chloride. Oh, great. Where am I gonna get sodium chloride at this late hour? <laughs> also, what the heck is sodium chloride? <laughs> yeah, I'll just improvise. Ground chili pepper. I'm pretty sure that's from the sodium whatever family. <laughs> Now I just need to trick Luke into drinking the formula. What formula? <laughs> Don't do that. Sorry, I just wanted to apologize if I was rude to you earlier. I wasn't myself today. Don't worry about it. In fact, to show you that there are no hard feelings, let me pour you a nice glass of milk. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> wow, that milk's got some kick to it. My mouth is burning. No problem. A little cold milk will put out that fire. Good thinking. <laughs> Much better. You're such a good guy, Larry. Not yet, but soon by default, I will be. <laughs> Why are you laughing like someone who just pulled off an evil plan? Just another one of my hilarious quirks. <laughs> now less talky, more milky. Late? What are you doing up so early on a... any day? I have to go. I have papers to grade, lessons to plan, young minds to mold. Honey, did you fall out of bed and hit your head again? I found my calling, Lisa. Oh, when my students look at me, they see Superman. But I'm not Superman. I'm just a regular high school teacher. You're not either of those things. <laughs> I'll explain everything tonight. Right after I chaperone the junior dance. Maybe I'm the one who hit my head. Hi, Mom. Can't talk now. Possible concussion. <laughs> It's for Luke. He needs the calcium. That isn't milk at all, is it? Did you steal Morgan's plant growth serum? <gasps> I am offended. <laughs> I stole the formula for her plant growth serum. How did you get away with it? What do you mean? You always say zoinks when you steal things. It's kind of a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, no. You already let Luke drink this? Sure, why not? My batch is almost the exact same recipe as Morgan's, so it should have the same effect. <laughs> what was that? The whole house just shook. I... <clears throat> okay, now I know I have a concussion. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm sure this is just more teenage hormones gone crazy. I'll keep an eye on Luke for you. Thanks, Larry. You're a good boy. <laughs> You better fix this, or I'll tell Mom the truth. Fix what? That I'm finally being recognized as a good son, and Luke is a terrifying monster. Everything is exactly how it should be. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll fix it. And if you carefully follow those six steps, you, too, can trick the cafeteria lady into giving you a free lunch. <laughs> Finally, a skill we can really use. <laughs> we'll continue my series of lunch lectures here tomorrow. Lane, your students really love you. <laughs> well, I mean, they love me, too, but just out of curiosity, how do you do it? <laughs> I never assign homework, and I let them out early every period. I'll bet you let them sleep through class, too, right? I wouldn't know. I'm already asleep when they get there. <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> hey, how would 
you feel about a permanent teaching position? I don't know. It would mean I couldn't sit around at home drawing comic strips in my house coat all day. <laughs> That's right. You'd have to do that here. <laughs> so what do you say? I'll do it, but I want two weeks vacation at Christmas, another week at March break, and the entire summer off. You drive a hard bargain, mister. <laughs> uh, that guy is a terrible negotiator. Morgan, I have a huge problem. I have my own problem right now. My plant growth formula's disappeared. Hey, what's that over there? River soy. <laughs> Let's focus on the bigger issue. The fact that your formula created a monster. <laughs> My formula did that? I may have tweaked a few things. Like that last impossible to find ingredient? Sodium chloride? That's the chemical name for ordinary table salt. Like I said, impossible to find. <laughs> Before you get too mad, you should know I had a really good reason for doing what I did. I only wanted to turn Luke into a jerk, so it'd make me look like a great guy by comparison. That's the worst reason imaginable. <laughs> Having said it out loud, I'm inclined to agree with you. Oh well, live and learn. Live and learn. <laughs> I told them I was just going to the bathroom, and they were not to move a muscle until I came back to dismiss them. <laughs> and that was three periods ago! <laughs> Here's your coffee, Mr. Stanley. Uh, thank you, Darnell. Your next assignment is picking up my dry cleaning. <laughs> I love learning! <laughs> Mr. Stanley, are you using that student as your personal assistant? Brilliant, right? I mean, if the kids insist on hanging around school all day, we may as well put them to work. Why are you wearing a house coat? You told me I could wear it. I thought you were joking. Why would I be joking? I've always been totally straight with you. Everyone, clear the room, now. Now, out, go on, out. <laughs> Mr. Stanley, I've just discovered that you don't have a teaching degree. Why are you pretending to be an art teacher? I'm not pretending. I teach a cartooning course at the community center. As I mentioned yesterday, I have the coffee mug to prove it. Well, your days teaching at Southridge are over. But I can't deny the positive effect you've had on both staff and students, which is why I would like to offer you a promotion. You mean like driving the school bus? Now that I'm qualified for. At least I would be if I knew how to drive a school bus. <laughs> Well, actually, I was thinking more along the lines of vice principal. Uh, can I at least use the school bus as my company car? Absolutely not. <laughs> Luke! Luke! What's going on? Morgan made a potion that will fix Luke. I created a serum that will speed up his metabolism so the growth formula will work its way through his system faster. So basically what I said, only more boring. <laughs> Luke's not here. I can't spend any more time looking for him. I still have to finish my work in the community garden before the grand unveiling tomorrow. Oh no, Luke's the project manager. If he went down there, there's no telling what he could do. Okay, everything looks fine. <laughs> destroyed the entire garden. Maybe it wasn't Luke who trashed the place. This could have been any rampaging teenage monster. <laughs> Let's wake him up and ask him if he saw the monster who did this. <laughs> okay, fine, he did it. all the serum. So what now? It's only a matter of time before someone comes out here and sees what happened. Quick, cover everything with these tarps. Perfect. 
can't we just have to hide this big, scary freak? <laughs> I mean, my brother, who I love. <laughs> Okay, that bought us some time. Now, how do we fix this? Wait, you mean you don't consider this fixed? <laughs> What's going on here? Why are those tarps covering our beautiful garden? We didn't want anyone to see how perfect it was until the unveiling ceremony tomorrow. Build the anticipation to a fever pitch. I like it. <laughs> Why is the garden snoring? <laughs> because we planted a rare and exotic mimosa pudica, also known as the sleepy plant. Ooh, I can't resist a sneak peek. No! <laughs> you know what they say about letting sleeping plants lie? You should let them lie. <laughs> they need their beauty sleep. I understand. I, too, am beautiful. <laughs> Larry, you need to rebuild this. Fine, I'll rebuild the garden. And I'll get Luke home to bed. And I'll get to work calculating the velocity of gravity waves. What? A gal can have hobbies. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Luke, you seem back to your old self. I wasn't aware the effects of puberty were reversible. <laughs> oh, sure. Sometimes it happens four or five times before it takes. I feel great. Though, for some reason, I just coughed up a rose bush. <laughs> Where's Larry? Uh, he got up early to do some last minute work on the community garden. Oh, no. I'm the project manager. I should be there, too. Wait. Maybe you should let Larry take the blame. I mean the credit. Good morning, everyone. Make way for Vice Principal Stanley. Vice Principal? I thought you said you were a teacher. I'm climbing the ladder. <laughs> oh, I have to get to school. I called a staff meeting. Today is Saturday. Yeah, exactly. No students, no classes, just a bunch of happy teachers coming in on their day off. <laughs> uh, do not drink. Oh, sorry, Milk. The vice principal outranks lowly dairy product. Dad, don't drink that! Taking the milk side over mine, huh? I expected more from you, Lori. <laughs> Weird. Milk usually makes my coffee less burny. <laughs> I gotta run. I have a room full of teachers waiting to be inspired by me. <laughs> oh, vice principal Stanley, why'd you call us all in on a Saturday? I don't think you can do that. Can you do that? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a good reason. Hmm. It's to tell you all the... That <laughs> you're all a bunch of lazy, pompous jerks. <laughs> Mr. Stanley, what are you doing? Just telling these useless mouth breathers what you don't have the guts to. <laughs> you're all fired. <laughs> Nobody's fired. Well, maybe not nobody. Hey, guys. What happened? Everyone, gather around. We're almost ready for the grand unveiling of the Brockdale Community Garden. This could go either way. Yep. It could be a disaster or a major disaster. What did I miss? Oh, nothing. You're just in time. How did the staff meeting go? <laughs> it couldn't have gone any better. You got fired, didn't you? Almost immediately. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Stanley. I packed up your office for you like you wanted. Darnell, I couldn't have asked for a better assistant. This is for you. <gasps> None of that stuff belongs to you. That's what makes it so special. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Brockdale Community Garden! It's beautiful. It is beautiful. 
How is that possible? <laughs> Why does it look like these flowers are held together with tape? <laughs> oh, well, uh... Obviously, that's a pernicium floppamosis. <laughs> also known as the tapey tree. <laughs> oh, of course. I've heard of those. <laughs> Let's all show Luke Stanley how much we appreciate his creative vision. Of course, Luke gets all the credit. I guess things are finally back to normal. Larry, be nice to your brother. He worked hard on this. And would it have killed you to clean up a little? I mean, really. <laughs> You better watch it, pal. <laughs> oh, you think you're popular? Huh? You think you're cool? Well, you're going down, Bella. <laughs> down the hatch, that is. <laughs> you just bought a one-way ticket to Stomach Town. <laughs> <sighs> oh, you like that, Milk? Well, guess what? I'm gonna do it again. Because I own you, Milk. I own you. <laughs> Did you make another batch of Morgan's formula? Nope, that's just regular milk. <laughs> oh, 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 oh.